This is one of the last communities of sea people. 5,000 people, the tankers, who live on the water in a bay on the Chinese island of Hainan. Mr. Zhang and his wife were born in one of these houses. They grew up with Mr. Zhou, playing on the planks that connect the floating homes. Today, they are the heads of their families. They have continued the tradition of fishing and fish farming. The sea people did not choose their destiny in Chinese history. They were simply not allowed to live on land. This destiny has become a culture, a way of life. On all the seas of southern China, as far as Hong Kong, the tankers have been part of the landscape of the Middle Kingdom, until the revolution of modernity, which they were largely excluded from. <laughs> While the tankers continue farming their groupers, on land, the world has changed. A few kilometers away is Sanya Bay. This is the new tropical paradise of the People's Republic of China. Luxury hotels, gigantic shopping centers, lifeguards, and surfers, like in California. The island of Hainan is pursuing the American dream. It wants to become a major tourist destination, like an Asian Hawaii or Dubai. Located in the far south of China, the island is also home to the country's main military naval bases. It is the home port of Beijing's aircraft carriers and nuclear submarines. Within a few years, the Sea of the Tankers has had to give way to modern China's colossal projects. Mr. Li is 86 years old. The floating house he lived in only a few years ago used to be here. The embankments that were built in preparation for an ultra-modern marina ate up part of Sanya Bay. The land began encroaching on the water, and the tanker village was dismantled. Mr. Li is revisiting his past with his two daughters. Hey, 
，来来来，几块钱？才才赚几块钱的，没有赚什么钱的了，以前哦。你几块钱，很多钱的。后来就慢慢就提高一点啦，后来又有十块了，十几块都有，都不一定。他早的时候就。比较赚的少了，后来改革开放了，香港船、香港船、海湾船什么都来的时候，我们这时候就好了，好多了。对。Yeah. The family are a little nostalgic, but only a little. 哎，我今天来到这里呢，看到我们住的老家的地方呢，心情呢很开心。为什么呢？以前我们住那个房子都是旧房子，现在他搞好那个码好以后呢，可能就会高楼大厦了。看了，因为政府这样搞的，很好的。The former fisherman received compensation. Today, he feels like he is part of the great new China project. With the government money, Mr. Li bought himself a small house, and has enough for he and his wife to live on through retirement. They have very few mementos of their lives before. An envelope with a few yellowed photos, and a photo of him as a captain. By improving the material life of the tankers, Beijing has managed to convince them, one by one, to leave their place on the sea. Mr. Li has no regrets. He prefers his life on land, but he also knows that he had no choice. 我们不舍得，但是呢，人家政府需要那个地方来搞旅游港口啊，你不搞旅游港口，不是的，呃，你不听政府的啊，政府叫你，他他就赔钱啦，你要你要钱就可以，要房子就可以啊，政府就就这么搞个了。他个有一百有一百方，有一百平方的有两两百多万来啊。In the Lee family, the culture of the tanker survives via songs passed down from generation to generation. Stories of missing sailors, stories of legendary storms. Once a week, Mr. Lee's daughter sings with a group of former fisher people who have settled on land. They sing the same traditional tunes, but with new choruses. The props, the choreography, the melody. Everything is authentic, except for one detail. Mr. Jen wrote new lyrics. The leader of this choir, Mr. Zheng, is also secretary of the local branch of the Chinese Communist Party. Thank you. 
都是跟今天生产生活的情况来来写。呃，他他那个都是不是固定的。呃，我们要遇到什么事，好像我们那个要召开二十大，我们也根据这种情况来写那个二十大怎么怎么怎么样。Mr. Zheng's singing lessons take place in a museum he has patiently built himself. The 6,000 square meter space is used as a space for exhibiting the Sea People's culture in its entirety. Mr. Zheng also grew up on the sea before taking on responsibilities on land. In Tibet and Xinjiang, there are also museums which claim that the lot of local minorities is improving and that their culture is being preserved. When a community stands in the way of Beijing's ambitions, it is often reduced to its folklore. What remains then becomes an attraction for Chinese tourists. Yo was 31 years old. He was born here in Shinkun Bay. There are 600 houses and nearly a thousand people in this tanker village. For two years, the Chinese government has increased expropriations in the lagoon. Their aim is to clear a maritime area of 22 square kilometers to build a brand new fishing port. <laughs> Yo is single. He is the youngest in the family. He shares a room with his sister, his niece, and his nephew. 这是我平时睡的房间，然后是这边都没收拾，然后这边是煤船，一般都是晚上的话都是铺那个草席啊，然后就睡上面，然后这边这边就排位，祖先的排位，然后这边就是餐厅。Your parents gave up fishing. They opened a restaurant. Each day, his mother makes a traditional soup of rice, fish, and crab, which they sell to tourists. The Luo family earn their living from these guided tours. All day long, water buses drop off hundreds of tourists. The tanker have become attractions, a living spectacle for the people of mainland China. It's no wonder Yo wants to tidy his room. It's now an attraction on the tour program. It's time to feed the groupers his family is farming. Why 
我感觉就是他们问题太多。For Yo and his family, tourism is as much a financial windfall as it is a threat to their traditions. So, as soon as he can, the young man escapes to reconnect with his true roots. In the Shinkung Lagoon, the fishing boats have been converted into taxi boats. They transport goods and tourists. 500,000 people visit the bay every year. It's 15 euros per ride, the entry price for this open air museum. This upscale hotel sprung up on the water in 2021. 22 luxury rooms overlooking the lagoon. For 200 euros all-inclusive, the hotel offers the tanker experience. Like sleeping in a replica of traditional boats, but with running water and electricity. Mr. Guo is a 10th generation tanker. He is 30 years old and the owner of the hotel. Guests are offered transparent kayak tours and the fish net hall, which takes place every morning. A hall worthy of the tanker, almost. To build his establishment, Mr. Guo bought 16 floating houses. 16 families were relocated to the mainland with help from the government. I希望把我们淡江文化保留下来,重新再把我们这些遗牌的移民重新把它整洁规划成,把工人区区分开。Mr. Guo is a good student. He always respects the new standards. Today, he has received a prize of 5,000 yuan, almost 700 euros, from party representatives for his tourism projects. The businessman has cultivated good relations with the authorities. Even the local library is a testament to this relationship. It contains the complete collection of reports from the 20th Congress of the Chinese Communist Party without forgetting the essential biography of President Xi Jinping. Mr. Zhang, the fisherman from Xinkun Bay, does not live in a floating house, but going on land is out of the question. With his years of savings, he has bought himself a large boat. <laughs> Captain Zhang and his wife are 45 years old. They have two children and a grandson. This boat is their livelihood and the family home. 
？不是，我们第结婚第一次就买一条小船啊，来搞啊。就后来就赚到一点钱就换中了，换中都到现在就换一条大的嘛。就这个船是二十二米嘛，最开始是七米啊，小的。我们移民的钱都没有多少来赚的，就是有一点就搞一点，就是。It's a difficult existence, characterized by the uncertainty of the fishing seasons and the violence of typhoons. But that's daily life for the tanker, and Mr. Zhang can't imagine changing it. When it comes to his children, the fisherman doesn't think the same way. Yue Ping, his daughter, is 24 years old. A graduate in marketing, she now lives in an apartment on the port. Her childhood bedroom on the boat is now empty. For her, the future is on land. Hey, come here, come here. You can come with us. Yes, we can come with us. Yes, we can come with us. We can come with us. We can come with us. A simple dinner, a typical tanker dish. Chinese hot pot made with fish and seafood in a garlic sauce. Mr. Zhou, a childhood friend, is always invited for family meals. It's a communal life. They are aware that they're probably the last generation to share it. The children will be able to choose their spouse. They will also be able to choose their destiny. They have studied. Their parents had no such choice. Even when his trawler is docked, Mr. Zhang spends his days on the lagoon. This is his only horizon. A horizon where each day the mark his people made is slowly disappearing. The days of the Tonka people are numbered. Mr. Zhang and his friends are counting down, partly worried, partly happy. This is how history goes, so they might as well embrace it. Especially when you live in a country where history is written far away from those who live it.